Yo, what's up everybody? It's your boy Marcus. How you guys doing? Alright, so I've been gone for a while and it's, when I mean I've been gone for a while, I really mean I've been gone for like a week. I mean, I've been gone for like a month before and uh, it was a little weird, but it's still weird now um, because I'm still getting traction on my channel even though I am gone. And it's something weird to think about. Um, that not every day I have to upload something and, you know, get feedback from it to be satisfied or have satisfaction uh, given to someone uh, who decides to view my channel. But yeah, uh, today's video I just wanted to teach and show the importance of, hey, you, have fun watching my content. Um, as you can see on the screen, I have been playing a lot of Siege. Um, a lot of it has been fun, a lot of it has been st stressful. Well, I can't speak today. Um, but more so f uh, the fun part. I mean, I've just been having a blast. I've been playing ranked. Um, even if I didn't get the ranking that I want or I didn't improve or anything, um, it's still fun to see. Plus, personally, I know I've gotten better at the game. I know, um, I mean, just doing the most minimalist shit possible in the game, um, I've definitely gotten better. And even if the statistics and the rankings are against me, I know I'm still having fun. doesn't matter what rank I'm in. I mean, I did, uh, <laughs> I did want to do a video legitimately if we're... Um, I start out in copper and then I see how far I go. Uh, see the difference between my copper and platinum lobbies, you know? Because uh, I do think there is like a strong and prevalent difference um, between those lobbies. Uh, obviously there is, but more so the people who like are doing the same thing as I or the people who just don't care in the decisions that they make. See. If Siege was such a game where it's like you could solo queue every single day of the week and you get the same outcomes and statistics based off of your personal skills um, as a solo queuer and uh, not as your team, um, then I mean, it would be too easy of a game, to be honest. Because there's a lot of people in bronze who are actually really, really good. And I found that out this ranked season that I was facing some bronze ones or I had some bronze ones um, queued up with me and we were going against like golds and when I mean these bronze players were good I mean these bronze players were good like there are sometimes like I would get carried and then there are sometimes that they just flop um, and that's weird and honestly I think the ranking system should be revised in siege because of this um, I mean, the fact that I'm queued up with bronze people and we're going against golds, there's obviously a problem with that. Because if you're, if you're in bronze already, I don't think you should be going against golds. That's just bottom line thing. I don't know. I don't want to say that there should be a thing in Siege where you just don't go up. You, you don't go against the ranking that's above you. Because uh, I don't think... Coppers should be going against silvers. But I also don't think that bronzes should be going against golds, if that makes sense. But if you take silvers against golds or silvers against plats, that seems fine to me. It's just that threshold at the bottom. Um, because it's not... It's really hard to mix in the good players and the bad players. Um... And I think it's just something that should be revised. I mean, I've seen it too many times where there's a teammate or whatever, and you could tell they're just bad, but they weren't bad because their skill was bad. Um, it was just because they're facing people that are out of their league. Um, and this is something we have to deal with. But anyway, uh, the topic of this video is not for ranked. It's not for ranked playing. Um, it's actually about Siege and where I want to go. Uh, so Siege is a fun game and I've poured a shitload of money into it. Way too much. Um, 
and it's something that I don't know if I addressed on the channel before, but I had an unhealthy relationship with. Um, the thing was, I was dumping a shitload of money into it. Um, I think it was like two hundred dollars every two weeks, so that's one hundred dollars every week. That means four hundred dollars monthly, and what? That means forty-eight dollars per year. Oh, sorry, I'm done. Forty-eight hundred. Forty-eight hundred dollars per per year. I can buy a lot of shit with forty-eight hundred dollars. Um, but I mean, that's realistically what I was doing, and I'd still stand at silver, gold, um, plat levels, you know, and I just wouldn't get anywhere. And I was kind of suffering because of it. That's why I had my little break on YouTube. That's why I didn't play Siege for a while. Um, but I just wanted to let you guys know that I'm in a better mood set. And even if I do get the same rankings, um, or I get whatever subpar rankings than what I think I should be, um, I still had a lot of fun. And nothing can change that. I guess the only thing that I could ask for is another team. I kind of gave up the team that I had. And uh, if you're watching this and you like to play Siege and uh, <laughs> you're a part of that team, I wouldn't mind playing, uh, you know, uh, another season. There is a season coming up. So yeah, uh, hint, hint. Maybe we can uh, get another gang together. Um, to be honest, it's kind of hard to find my perfect ideal squad. I had it at one point and then we just never played together. And then some personal issues happened there. So that's why I solo queue all the time now. Um, and that's probably why I don't get the rankings I'd like, but that's completely fine. Because, to be honest, I'm having fun. Plus, I think it's a different experience. Siege has taught me a lot about FPS games and where they take you. Everyone has this idealism that you should be good at the game, you should be, like, really good and at the top of the level, and you should be, like, you know, getting there. And it's something that, like... I see every single day when I log into the game, whether it's someone who has a champion charm and they just want to flex off their skills, or someone who is, you know, running the highest sensitivity ever and they just spin whatever and they just, their movement, you can tell that they've trained. I mean, they're beaming people, they get headshots every single time, they're good, you know, but at the end of the day, I mean, Siege might be one of the most toxic uh, competitive events out there. Competitive games as well, with the most competitive fan base ever. Um, however, it's nothing that uh, it's nothing that really is uh, you know detrimental when you think about it. I poured so much money into this game. And I still like it, even after I've had my fits and whatever, even after everything. I mean, I stand here today just to tell you guys, like, I don't care what rank I get. I mean, I can get champion, I can get diamond, I can get bronze, I can get copper. I don't really care what rank I get, I'm still going to have fun. It took me a while to see that, but Siege is just one of those games. Um, you don't have to be perfect you don't have to be good hell there's a lot of people that are tell you hey why are you posting clips of siege if you're only silver or why are you posting clips of siege if you're only gold or hey that's a really gold thing to do you know um don't let them get to you because they got to me and you saw where that got me got me here you know leading channel and i'm having fun um yeah, that that's basically the extent of this conversation. Siege, uh, you, you don't have to be perfect at game. You don't have to be cracked out. However, I am a perfectionist, so I am going to get the rank that I want. <laughs> I'm not going to stay in uh, gold forever. Because uh, if you saw last time, obviously I had my fit around the season that uh, the season ended. I forgot. It was like the season that Thunderbird came out. I, I don't remember, man. I don't ever remember the season names anymore. Like, all I can remember is obviously this season and then 
like the seasons that I actually like got into Siege, Parabellum, and uh, some other ones. I don't know. Parabellum is a, is a season that I like. That that's the season I started. So yeah, yeah. That that's a uh, yeah. But I, I don't know what I'm talking about anymore. Um. Yeah, that's the video, I guess. Not much more to talk about. I don't, I don't really care what uh, anyone says. I mean, ranked is whatever. Um, you don't have to be a proper rank to, you know, do whatever. And that's why I want to let people know. That being said, expect there to be more ranked gameplay in the future. Because uh, I think what I want to do with this next season is uh, play one ranked game per day. At least one ranked game per day. And I'm probably going to save alpha packs. I've never done that, but if I play one ranked game a day, I should have a shit ton of alpha packs by the end of the season. For the whole season. Think about that. Think about that. Even if I lost all of them, I'm going to complete the season pass. Because I'm always going to buy the season pass. And that gives me like 40. So yeah, we're going to have some fun next season. If you guys want to uh, want to see that type of content, you want to see me, you know, grind every single day, and you want to see me uh, do an epic alpha pack opening at the end of the season, stay tuned, leave a like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next one. It's been fun. Yeah, my name is Non- <laughs> Can't even get the outro right. My name is Monchers. I will see you guys in the future. Peace.